Hello everyone, it's Carlene. Um, just coming on to show you some projects. I've been trying to use this thing to hold my phone, but it is impossible for me to make this thing work. It just doesn't seem to want to hold up. So I came up with the idea of just setting it on this long, tall candle so uh, I could actually use both hands. I uh, hope the weather's good where you guys are. It's really warm here, nice, and everything's greening up really nice. We do have a quite a strong wind for the last few days, and we have a few forest fires around us again, so the wind definitely isn't helping. But anyways, um, I had three little boxes that were the same, and so I decided to turn them into little journals, and I think they're very cute. I had fun. They're all the same inside. This is definitely nice being able to use two hands. So it's just um, some scrap paper in here. Like um, this was because uh, my alcohol inks um, leaked through, so I always put paper underneath. And I thought that's kind of neat, no sense wasting it. So I save it and I put it in the journals. This was photo paper I was playing around with. And that's more of the alcohol ink that went through. But it's kind of neat and you can still write. I haven't really put any, I didn't put any pockets in here or anything. But I might go back and put a couple little pockets and tags. But I just thought they were cute for uh, throwing in the purse or something. And then when we go on holidays or long drives or something, I have this little box. Because he's so cute. But um, it just has everything I need in here to make clusters. So when I have scraps and different little things I'll throw it in here and then I just have to grab this and uh, I can just where I am can sit and make some clusters so here's some of them I put a uh, kitty on this one this one's my own bead that I made some of them I will go back and add a little something or uh, some words or something but I decided I would just wait and see This was some of my own paper I was playing around with. I forget the name of the stuff, but I'll show that um, sometime. This one's kind of cute. Just put the scrap piece of fabric through the button. This one's definitely blah, so I will add something else. The big ones, this is just a piece of um, the muffin cups. This is another one of my buttons. Can I show that one? So that's those. And then uh, Vivian and I, um, I unmolded these already because I, uh, got to this part taping and uh, something went a little bit wrong so I kind of used a bad word so I had to start over. Um, we had so much like I don't know if you know those little bottles I should have brought one over here but they're just tiny little bottles but we just wanted to do this little heart one so we thought it just we just need to do a tiny little bit because we were just playing around so I did five capfuls of each one, and then we added the pigment ink and the sparkles, sparkles in. And um, it turned out we had so much that we ended up using it on little, finding things to make. So I just went and grabbed a bunch of my molds quickly so we could, that side's really pretty, I like it. I have to go, I guess, and you kind of, uh, clean it up with a little bit of a knife or something to get a little bit of a smoother edge and stuff and then sort of just buff it 
Well, she's going to be happy. She made this one, and she put a um, butter acrylic butterfly in there, but it sank. But that's all right. And we'll put some ribbon in there and, she, and give this to her mom. I love this side. It's too bad that side didn't turn out like that too. But it seems to always settle on the top. I don't know. Have to look it up. And then we decided to make this pan and I realized I didn't do it right. But the pan works. <laughs> but it should have probably come down further, so. But it's pretty neat. And some of it is really hard, but some of the little things are just sticky. So these were a pain to try and take out of the mold. This one, my fingers don't work at the best of times and then I try and squeeze it out. It's just kind of difficult, but I'll fiddle with the rest of them. But that'll be a cute little stud earring. What does it look like on which side is the prettiest? That side. And then we made these hearts and this is where I got frustrated because everything was dry and I thought these were little, so they must be dry, but they weren't. So I'll just leave them sit here and uh, she's picking them up tomorrow, so probably better tomorrow. I probably unmolded a bit soon. But that's my projects for today and I hope you enjoyed them. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment and uh, we'll talk to everyone soon. Bye for now.